If you enjoy this reading, please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you. Here's Mrs. Small's new book. Look under Show More for more information. Hello, friends. This is Buzz. And he just told me to tell you about a new book. And this is called The Drop Goes Flop. And it's a first look at the water cycle. And it also is by Sam Godwin and illustrated by Simone Abel. I think he's very excited and would like to get started. All right. Plop goes plop. A first look at the water cycle. A cloud forms high up in the sky. It grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Mommy, what is a cloud? A cloud is millions of drops of water. The sun's heat pulls them out of the sea. A strong wind blows the cloud over hills and fields and little towns. There are, there are all sorts of clouds. There are ice clouds, thunder clouds, and rain clouds like this one. I thought so. I can see the drops of water. Let's follow that really big drop. Raindrops fall from the cloud. The drop goes plop. It runs down the baby gull's feathers. I'm singing in the rain. When the cloud gets heavy, the drops fall out as rain. If it is really cold, the drops freeze and fall as snow or hail. Down, down, down falls the drop until splash it lands in a flowing river. The drop is carried along the river, past houses, and under bridges. Rivers start as tiny streams on mountains. They are filled with water from lakes and springs. Rain falls and adds more water to the rivers. At last, the drop floats into a peaceful reservoir. Then a dam is open. A reservoir is a lake with a dam at one end. Water is stored here until people need it. Poor drop. It is sucked into a water treatment plant and pushed up a pipe into a water tower. Where is it going now? Water has to be clean before humans can drink it because dirty water can make people sick. The drop gushes out of the faucet and into a bath. Now it is in Sam's hair. The shampoo bubbles foam and splatters. People use water for all sorts of things. Washing, cleaning, cooking, even swimming. The drop swishes around and around the tub. It swirls down the drain. Poor drop. It whooshes down a pipe into the sewers. At 
the water treatment plant, the drop travels through tanks and filters. It is squeaky clean again. It passes through a pipe that leads to... Water gets dirty after it has been used and has to be cleaned again. The water goes into the sea. The drop rises up into the air again. It joins millions of other drops in a cloud. Mommy, will we ever see my special drop again? Maybe. Water moves in a never-ending cycle. That means it goes round and round and round. The drop goes plop. Its amazing journey starts all over again. So where's our drop then? It could be anywhere in this water cycle. Water is heated by the sun and rises up from the sea. In the sky, water cools and water droplets form clouds. Water rises up from trees and plants. Clouds move over the land. When the clouds get too heavy, the water drops fall as rain. Water runs into rivers and out to the sea again. Goes round and round, round and round. The end. The drop goes plop. Yum, 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 yum.